Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today I'm teaching you the best way to get better aim in Call of Duty. We're doing things a bit differently. Downtown, it's nighttime. This is my first ever time recording at night, at least in a very long time. And I'm gonna start this video off with something that's obviously very important. It's imperative when it comes to getting your aim right, and that is your controller settings. Now, I'm gonna do my best to go through these quickly, but obviously if you're trying to uh, get your aim better, I'm gonna give you guys what I recommend. So I use 6.6 .6 sensitivity. If you have really bad aim, I'd maybe start a little slower at like 5.5 five, and work your way up to 6.6, six, six, but I do think 6.6 six, six is a pretty good uh, a good spot to be. The sensitivity multipliers, I don't change, so these are all at one for me. For the aim response curve, I use dynamic. I think this is imperative personally. I think dynamic basically shoots for you. Most pros use dynamic. Um, you obviously want aim assist on, and I use uh, default aim assist. Some people use black ops, but I think black ops was nerfed in the beginning of the game, so I recommend uh, using default dynamic. This is very important, dead zones. So you'd be surprised at how much these little numbers can actually change. So. When you go to 0 0.05, that will pretty much stop uh, stop you from getting any stick drift, but 0 0.03 is a lot quicker. So that's why I like 0 0.03. It allows me to snap a lot quicker. Your left and right stick max, want it, you want to be at 0.99. And then for the left and right trigger, make sure you're at 0, 0. That way it's as sensitive as possible. So as soon as you press those triggers, you're able to shoot. The next thing I want to talk about, which is really important, is centering. I'm sure if you watch the pros, you hear the word centering a lot. Centering is basically just where like this, see this mid dot right here, like in the middle of my crosshair? It's pretty much where you're centering when you round corners, when you're looking at a certain area, right? So let's say they're coming through gate over there. Like, it's not like you want to run this way and then turn and, and go that way, right? Like, you want to make sure that you're rounding the corner and you are constantly getting ready for a fight. Like, you are constantly centering to where you think opponents are going to be. And it sounds very simple and it sounds very, I guess, basic knowledge, but... For those that don't know, centering will really give you a uh, an advantage over your opponent, right? Like, notice how when I play, I am constantly centered on where I think opponents are going to be and where I'm expecting a gunfight. So I think it's a little easier said than done. Just make sure when you're playing, you're focusing on your centering, ready for a gunfight at all times. My next tip for you guys is game knowledge. I know aiming and game knowledge, you're like, huh, that doesn't really make much sense. But I think when you watch a lot of the top players play and you're like, damn, they have a crazy shot. It's also because of their game awareness, right? Like they are pre-aiming and anticipating where opponents are coming from. So if you know spawns and you have general game awareness and minimap knowledge, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of where people are coming from and that will make your aim look that much cleaner. So it won't help your aim in the literal sense, but it'll definitely help your game play because you will be anticipating and centering towards exactly where you expect players to come from. So I feel like game awareness and centering uh, kind of go hand in hand. Our next tip is recoil control. You want to have a gun that shoots straight, right? If you're using uh, a bad weapon with no attachments, it's it's just going to be flying in the air like that. Whereas a gun like the TAC, for example, with optimal attachments, it already shoots very straight. So it makes your job that much easier. I think a lot of players use weapons and, and guns that aren't really used in competitive or they find fun, but they're just not optimal when it comes to actual recoil control. So something like the TAC has very, very, uh, a very easy to control recoil pattern. And notice when I look at the wall, right? I'm not even gonna press my, my analog stick to try to keep it down. It barely moves. It goes up slightly, and that's literally without me touching my right analog stick. So now, sorry, let me beat this man's ass and get this kill, but notice how, and now when I'm controlling it and I, I have a tiny bit of pressure on my right thumbstick, it's just, very easy to control so my next tip is practice it's shooting bots i understand a lot of people in my stream asks in why are you shooting bots before rank play i think every single pro shoots bots and i can shoot bots for hours i mean you get some music on unfortunately there's only five bots in this game so it's a little more difficult compared to prior titles you can literally max the lobby out but you'll be surprised at how uh at how much shooting bots will help the reality of the situation is it's all about play time and repetitions right if you're if you're out there hitting a baseball in a batting cage, the first time you go out there, or even the first month you go out there, you're not going to be hitting very well. Really what it comes down to is dedicating uh, time to your craft. And if you want to be better at Call of Duty and have better aim, you got to put in more time. And I really think shooting bots is... Um a good way to do it. There's also some controversy, or I wouldn't say controversy, but there's some talk around shooting bots with no aim assist. So I'll show you guys. I mean, I guess I kind of see it. It definitely is a little difficult, but I'm not sure how much it actually helps the, your aim because the reality is uh, you have aim assist in actual matches and sure, I guess it takes more raw skill and like control to not use aim assist, but 
I don't think it's going to make or break your, your aim if you practice with no aim assist and then turn it on for ranked. Uh, but hey, give it a go. It's different for everybody. Back in World War II in 2018, um, I used to shoot bots with no aim assist, and I was pretty good at that game. So maybe I should uh, start recommending shooting bots with no aim assist. I mean, to summarize, I think it's, it's having a good class. It's centering. It's game awareness. It's obviously your settings, right? Like you want to have the best possible settings to make sure that, I mean, if you're playing on max sensitivity, I mean, at that point you're doing 360s around the map. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know some of these tips and tricks maybe weren't necessarily the most helpful, but I hope these can at least help some people. Once again, it's going to come down to game time. I can give you guys all the tips in the world and uh, hopefully they, uh, they do help improve your game, but nonetheless, it's going to come down to game time. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Drop a like, drop a comment, the whole nine, and check out a few clips and be shooting really straight. Hang on. Might be the best of the game. Pinch this time, hopefully clear it. Immediately look to my left and place this guy top dome. Hop on this rock. Come here. They should keep spawning back P2. Or at least one might and the rest are gonna spawn behind me red. Actually, no, I think they're all gonna spawn red. Maybe one spawns P2. I'm not sure if he spawned there or not, but the rest are all red now. We have no one in red pushed up. Perfect, we want them coming from red. We have P2 side of the map. I keep falling in the water. Not ideal, but my goal here is just to keep them off this time for as long as possible. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to hop on top of this heady. They're all going to keep spawning red. Look, my teammates are back P2. They could wrap deep left of me, but I should have info on that. At the very least, if I hit good shots, I'm going to cut it. Watch Watch I got you. I was about to call it. Oh my god. Are you retired? You retired? Is that a game town? Is main right now? Easy. I'm locked. Watch my, watch my. D2, 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 watch out. D2 really weak. I'm still D2. Watch out. 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 I have a good one. They gotta hold my mid though. Stand by. Just holding top. I'm running at it. I got it. Front, front, front. I know, I got it. You have it. Enemy personnel in the house. Behind teammates, can you buy one, please? He turned on me. Oh.